all the values which are greater than or equal to 2 is nothing but 2, 3, 4, etc. up to infinity. A comma B belongs to R implies B comma A also belongs to R means reflexive then it is symmetric relation. This is a linear function. Linear function is nothing but a function of the form f of x is equal to ax plus b is called a linear function. Hello dear students, welcome to this session of mathematics class. I am Mr. Niranjan, faculty department of mathematics. Vidashtam PU College, the temple of excellence. So, in my previous class, we have discussed regarding the problems based on Cartesian product as well as relations and the function. Now, today I am going to discuss few more problems based on the function. Now, let us come to a small example. Find the range, find the range of the following functions. Now, in the previous class, we have discussed regarding the range, domain and codomain. Now, here what is required to find the function is given f of x is equal to 2 minus 3x where x belongs to real number and for all x greater than 0 for all positive values what is given given that f of x is equal to 2 minus 3x for all x belongs to real numbers and x is greater than 0 x belongs to real numbers and x is greater than 0 so for this we have to find out the range then this f of x is equal to 2 minus 3x is greater than 0 means this should be less than 2 less than 2 2 minus 3x is less than 2 2 minus 3x is less than 2 simplify this so what are the answer you are going to get the range therefore range of the function is here 2 comma minus infinity minus infinity to 2 is the range so see here what is the function given f of x is equal to 2 minus 3x where x belongs to real numbers and x is greater than 0 all positive numbers so therefore f of x is equal to 2 minus 3x is less than 2 which implies the range of the given function is the values from minus infinity to plus 2 so 2 1 0 and minus 1 minus 2 up to minus infinity okay that's it very simple problem now let us come to the second problem what is the second problem here f of x is given as f of x is equal to x square plus 2 where x is a real number x belongs to r real number and here this f of x is equal to x square plus 2 is greater than or equal to 2 this is greater than or equal to 2 so therefore the range of this function is range of f is equal to the values are greater than 2 etc up to infinity 2 to infinity that is it ok here since f of x is equal to x square plus 2 for all x belongs to real number x square plus 2 is greater than or equal to 2 means the range of the function is all the values which are greater than or equal to 2 is 2 3 4 etc up to infinite values now the last one let us come to the function third one what is given f of x is equal to x for all x is a real number for all x belongs to r the set of real numbers so we have to find the range for this that is it so here what is given f of x is equal to x means x belongs to r means that is f of x is equal to x where which belongs to the real number so therefore the range of the function the range of f is nothing but r itself the set of all the real numbers that is it ok that is how we are going to find out the range for the given function that is it now listen to me I will explain once again what is the problem given here find the range of the following function the first function is f of x is equal to 2 minus 3x for all x belongs to r where x is greater than 0 since f of x is equal to 2 minus 3x for all x belongs to r and x is greater than 0 means definitely the value of 2x minus 3 is less than 2 so therefore the range for this is given by 2 minus 3x is less than 2 means the range is nothing but minus infinity to plus 2 so values before this 2 that is 2 0 1 and minus 1 minus 2 up to minus infinity comes under this now for the second problem f of x is equal to x square plus 2 for all x belongs to r f of x is nothing but x square plus 2 which is greater than or equal to 2 all the values which are greater than or equal to 2 is nothing but 2 3 4 etc up to infinity 
So here greater than or equal to, therefore we are using of closed and of open interval to, to infinity. Now, whereas the third problem f of x is equal to x where x belongs to r, since f of x is nothing but x which is a real number, so therefore the range of the function f is equal to r itself, real numbers, that is it, okay. Hope you followed, that is it. Now let us come to the next problem. Now what is the problem given? Let r be the set of real numbers, define the real function f from r to r by f of x is equal to x plus 10 and sketch the graph of the function. So we have to write the graph for this function. What is the function given? f of x is equal to x plus 10. Now write on the graph since let r be the real valued function defined from f from r to r by f of x is equal to x plus 10 and sketch the graph. Let us take the values of x is equal to, what is x here? Let us write on the graph x. So we can take x is equal to 0, x is equal to minus 10 and x is equal to plus 10, okay. What are the values we are going to get for f of x? So here, when x is equal to 0, what is f of x? f of x is equal to x, that is f of 0, 0 plus 10, this is equal to 10, positive value you will get. When x is 0, f of x is 10. When x is equal to minus 5, f of minus 5 is equal to minus 5 plus 10 is equal to plus 5. This is plus 5. When f of x is equal to minus 10, when x is equal to minus 10, then this becomes minus 10 plus 10, that is equal to 0. So these are the possible values. So we can take x is equal to 0, minus 5 and minus 10. So how to draw the graph? When x is 0, f of x is 10, 0 comma 10 is one point. Next minus 5 comma 5 is the other point and 10 comma 0 is the third point. Now let us represent this in a graph. This is x axis plus 1 plus 2 plus 3, minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and the value of y, y is nothing but here f of x, f of x is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and here f of minus x negative values of this is minus y, okay. Now when x is equal to 0, f of x is equal to 10. When x is equal to 0, f of x, the value of f of x, when x is 0, f of x is nothing but y, this is equal to 10. So this is the point we are going to get, a is 0 comma 10. When x is equal to minus 5, when x is equal to minus 5, we will get y is equal to minus 5. So here when x is minus 5, why we are going to get here minus 5, that is minus 5, when x is minus 5, y is equal to minus 5, let us represent this as b, okay. Now when x is equal to minus 10 and f of x is equal to 0, we are going to get. So when x is minus 10, f of x is equal to 0, that is the point c is equal to minus 10 comma 0. So here when x is 1, 2, 3, 4, minus 10, when what is the value of f of x? We are going to get it as 0. So the graph is, that is nothing but a line which passes through the points A and C. Yes, right line which passes through the points A and C. This is the graph for the function, a straight line, okay. Now that is it, listen. Put x is equal to 0, you will get f of x is 10, x is equal to minus 5, f of x is plus 5 and x is equal to minus 10, f of x is 0. So the points are 0 comma 10, minus 5 comma 10 and minus 10 comma 0 represent this on a graph. So when x is, this is 0 comma 0, when x is equal to 0, y is equal to 10 means f of x is 10, 0 comma 10. When x is equal to minus 5, this is minus 5. When x is equal to minus 5, y is equal to plus 5. This is plus 5 under minus 5, plus 5 and minus 5. Then when x is equal to minus 10, when x is equal to minus 10, f of x is equal to 0. So therefore the point we are going to get here. So therefore, just draw a straight line which passes through this point. So A, B, C is a straight line. So this is the graph for the function y is equal to or f of x is equal to x plus 10, okay. Now this is nothing but you might have been studied in your previous classes. This is of the forum y is equal to mx plus c. mx plus c is nothing but equation of a straight line. The slope is given and the y-intercept is also given, okay. Now, that is regarding this graph, okay. Hope you followed. Now let us come to the next problem, problem number 3. What is given? Let R be a relation from Q to Q, set of rational numbers to rational numbers 
is defined by r is equal to a comma b where a comma b belongs to q and a minus b belongs to z set of integers then show that a comma a belongs to r for all a belongs to rational numbers and a comma b belongs to r implies b comma a also belongs to r and a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r implies a comma c also belongs to r. You might have been studied in your previous classes these are the properties of a relation if a comma a if same elements a comma a b comma b 1 comma 1 belongs to r means then it is called as a reflexive relation a comma a belongs to r is reflexive. Now a comma b belongs to r implies b comma a also belongs to r means reflexive then it is symmetric relation symmetric a comma b is equal to b comma a and the last one is the transitive if a comma b belongs to r b comma c belongs to r and which implies a comma c also belongs to r so that is called the transitive so here actually these are nothing but reflexive symmetric and a transitive property let me explain one by one first one what is given on r on the relation r for all q belongs to r q belongs to a comma b what is defined a comma b is equal to a minus b belongs to z this is the given condition now first one a comma a let us take first one a comma a a comma a belongs to r implies here a minus a is equal to a minus a is equal to 0 this belongs to set of integer 0 belongs to set of integer so therefore this r is a relation on a comma b so therefore this is a relation r is a relation on is a r is a relation from q to q right now let us come to the second one what is the second one second one is if for all a comma b belongs to r if a comma b belongs to r this implies what is to prove b comma a also belongs to r see here what is the condition given a comma b is nothing but a minus b a comma b means a minus b belongs to r implies b minus a also belongs to r here if you subtract two elements a minus b is equal to a real number means b minus a is also a real number so therefore this r is a r is a relation r is a relation suppose if you want i will take an example if a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 5 then what is a comma b a comma b is nothing but 2 comma 5 that is nothing but 2 minus 5 is equal to minus 3 this belongs to the set of integers a comma b belongs to r real number so a minus b belongs to z similarly b comma a b comma a is nothing but 5 comma 2 this 5 comma 2 means 5 minus 2 is equal to 3 which also belongs to the set so a comma b belongs to q and a minus b belongs to z then this a comma b belongs to r therefore this is a a relation so that means reflexive is a relation here reflexive then symmetric is also a relation now let us come to the third one see what is the third condition given here if a comma b belongs to r a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r means which implies this implies a minus b belongs to r and b minus c also belongs to r so that is a minus b and b minus c belongs to r which implies a minus b plus b minus c that's equal to a minus c also belongs to r means a comma c also belongs to r right so if a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r then a minus b belongs to r and b minus a belongs to r implies a comma c also belongs to r so therefore a comma b belongs to r and b comma c belongs to r implies a comma c also belongs to r so therefore on the set of rational numbers q defined by a comma b is equal to a minus b belongs to z is or it will satisfy the condition a comma a belongs to r a comma b belongs to r implies b comma a also belongs to r and a comma b belongs to r and b comma c also belongs to r implies a comma c also belongs to r that means so it is reflexive symmetric and transitive so this you might have been studied in your previous classes or 
you can study this in your uh, PUC 2, second PUC, okay. Now, what is the problem given? Just go to the problem. Let f from 1 comma 1, 1 comma 1, 2 comma 3, 0 comma minus 1, minus 1 comma minus 3 be a linear function from z into z. So, z to z, set of integers to set of integers, find f of x. So, here what is given? This is a linear function. f of x is a linear function. Linear function means given f of x is equal to, let us consider a linear function, f of x is equal to ax plus b, a linear function. This is a linear function. Now, what are the values given? When x is equal to a, when x is equal to 1, f of x is 1, when x is equal to 2, f of 2 is equal to 3, like that. When, let us consider this, when x is equal to 0, f of 0 is equal to minus 1. Substitute here, minus 1 is equal to a into 0 plus b. That means, minus 1 is equal to 0 plus b is b. So, b is equal to minus 1, you will get. Now, similarly, find out the value of a, that is all. Just find out the value of a and b and substitute here. Now, let us consider this value, the easiest one. When f of 1 comma 1, at f of 1 comma 1, put x is equal to 1. So, what do you have? f of 1 is equal to 1, that is given. So, substitute here f of 1 is equal to a into 1 plus b, f of 1 is 1, 1 comma 1 this is, f of 1 is 1 is equal to a into 1 is a plus b, 1 is equal to a and just put what is b, since b is equal to, b is equal to minus 1, so this is minus 1, transfer this, 1 plus 1 is equal to a, so therefore the value of a is equal to so, a is equal to 2 and b is equal to minus 1. So, therefore, the required equation is, therefore, the value of f of x, what is the value we have defined? Defined as a x plus b. Substitute the value, f of x is equal to, what is a? a is 2 into x, what is b? b is minus 1. So, therefore, the function is f of x is equal to 2x minus 1. That is it f of x is equal to 2x minus 1 is the required answer. That is it. Hope you followed. Okay. Suppose if you want to verify, you can put c here, substitute here. If you consider 1 comma 1, if you put x is equal to f of x, x is equal to 1, 2 minus 1 is 1. So, when x is 1, f of 1 is 1. So, you will get 1 comma 1. Okay. So, that is it. Very simple problem. Just define a linear function by f of x is equal to ax plus b. Substitute the values, when x is equal to 0, f of x is 1, when x is equal to 2, f of x is 3, when x is equal to 0, f of x is minus 3, minus 1, when x is equal to minus 1, f of x is minus 3, you can take any values, just take the easiest 0 comma minus 1 and 1 comma 1, if you put x is equal to 0, you will get b is equal to minus 1, if you put x is equal to 1, you will get a is equal to 2, substitute here, f of x is equal to x plus b, what is the value of a, a is 2 into x minus b is equal to 1. So, 2x minus 1 is the required function, that is it, ok. Now, let us come to the next problem. Now, these type of problems are very, very important. Find the domain of the function f of x. So, domain of the function, to find the domain of the function, just find out the factors, that is it, ok. Now, so, here yeah, to find the domain of this type of function, just factorize the denominator because the function f of x is defined for all the values of r except at, except at, except at x square minus 5x plus 4 is equal to 0, ok. So, just factorize this, the factors for this are x square minus 5x can be written as, we can write this as a x minus 4x plus 4 is equal to 0, ok. Now, you can take x common factor, x minus 1, here minus 4 common factor, x minus 1 is equal to 0, the factors are x minus 1 into x minus 4 is equal to 0, therefore, x is equal to 1 and x is equal to 4. So, these are the values. So, the domain of the function is the set of all real numbers except 1 comma 4, that is all. Now, therefore, 
the domain of this function f of x is defined by the domain domain of the function f of x is defined by set of all the real values except at this that is r minus 1 comma 4 that's it the set of all real numbers except at a 1 comma 4 will give the domain of the function very simple and important problem for two marks so that means therefore the domain of the function therefore the domain of the function f domain of the function is equal to r minus 1 comma 4 that's it okay now let us take a similar type problem so before that let us discuss this now what is the problem the function f is defined by f of x is equal to 1 minus x when x is less than 0 1 when x is equal to 0 x plus 1 when x is greater than 0 draw the graph of the function so we have to draw the graph for this function okay now let us define the values for this now let us draw the values of f of x what is given here let us write down f of x is given to be f of x is 1 minus x when x is less than 0 and again again when x is equal to 0 f of x is 1 and when x is greater than 0 greater than 0 f of x is equal to x plus 1 now let us draw a table connecting these values x and f of x let us take the values of x as 0 1 2 and 3 okay here this is minus 1 minus 2 and minus 3 okay right now substitute the values when x is equal to 0 f of x is equal to 1 they have already given when x is greater than 0 means when x is a positive value 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 when x is greater than 2 greater than 0 means when x is equal to 2 2 plus 1 is equal to 3 when x is equal to 3 3 plus 1 is equal to 4 we have similarly less than less than means when x is less than 0 we have the equation 1 minus x 1 minus x when x is equal to minus 1 1 minus of minus 3 that is equal to 1 plus 3 is equal to 4 so you will get 4 when x is equal to minus 2 what you will get minus of minus 2 that is 1 plus 2 is equal to 3 when x is equal to minus 1 what you will get 1 minus of minus is 1 plus 1 is equal to 2 so these are the values of x so when x is less than 0 we will get f of x is equal to 4 3 2 1 when x is equal to 0 f of x is equal to 1 when x is greater than 0 we will get f of x is equal to 2 3 and 4 so here when x is 0 f of x is 2 3 4 when x is less than 0 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 the answer you are going to get is 2 3 and 4 okay now let us represent this in a graph that's it now let us write the values here when this is x x is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and minus 4 minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 and plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 now what are the values when x is equal to minus 3 f of x is my plus 4 when x is equal to minus 3 f of x is equal to plus 4 we have here it is okay somewhere here you are going to get this point next when x is equal to when x is equal to minus 2 when x is minus 2 what is f of x f of x is equal to plus 3 when x is equal to minus 1 f of x when x is equal to minus 1 f of x is equal to plus 1 so here we are going to get now when x is equal to 0 when x is 0 f of x is 1 this is the point okay now when x is equal to 2 when x is equal to 2 f of x is equal to 3 when x is equal to 2 f of x is equal to 3 similarly when x is equal to 4 f of x is equal when x is equal to 3 f of x is 4 we are going to. so if you draw a line what is the answer we are going to get here means so this is the curve just here for all the values of when x is equal to 0 here f of x is equal to plus 1 okay this is the graph for the given function 1 minus x when x is less than 0 1 when x is equal to 0 and x plus 1 when x is greater than 0 that's it see here i will explain once again see here when x is equal to 0 f of x is equal to 1 this is the point 
when x is 0, f of x is nothing but y, f of x is equal to 1. When x is equal to 1, f of x is 2. When x is equal to 1, f of x is 2 here. Again, when x is equal to 3, f of x is equal to 4. You will get here the point. So, a straight line. Similarly, when x is equal to minus 1, x is equal to minus 1, the value of f of x is plus 2. f of x is equal to plus 2. Here, we will get. Similarly, when x is equal to minus 3, when x is equal to minus 1, f of x is plus 2. When x is equal to minus 2, f of x is equal to plus 3, right. When x is equal to minus 3, f of x is equal to plus 4. So, a straight line, just a straight line which passes through this point, okay. So, this is the graph for the given function, that is it, okay. Hope you followed. Now, let us come to the next problem. So, if f of x is equal to x square, find the value of f of 1.1 minus f of 1 divided by 1.1 minus 1. Now, what is given? Given equation is f of x is equal to x square. Just find out f of 1 first. f of 1 is 1 square is 1. Again, put x is equal to 1.1. So, this is 1.1 whole square. So, 1.1 into 1.1 is 1.21. 1.21. So, this becomes, this reduces to f of 1.1 is 1.21 minus function of 1 is 1 whole divided by 1.1 minus 1. So, this is nothing but 1.21 minus 1 is 0 0.21 divided by 1.1 minus minus 1 is nothing but 0 0.1. If you divide 0 0.21 divided by 0 0.1, you will get the answer. That is it. So, if you divide this 0 0.21 by 0 0.1 is nothing but 2.1. That is all. 2.1. So, therefore, the value of this function is 2.1. Where a simple problem, two marks question. See here, what is given? f of x is equal to x square. Find out f of 1 first. Function of 1 is 1 square is 1. Again, find out f of 1.1. 1 1.1 .1. 1 .1 whole square is 1.1 into 1.1 is 1.21. Substitute here. What is required to find is function of 1.1 minus f of 1 divided by 1.1 minus 1. That is 1.21 minus 1 by 1.1 minus 1, that is 0 0.21 by 0 0.1 is equal to 2.1 is the required answer. That is it. Hope you followed. Okay. Now, let us come to the next problem. Same type problem. What is the problem here given? Find the domain of the function as like previous problem. So, domain of the function x square plus 2x plus 1 divided by x square minus 8x plus 2 1. So, here The domain of the function exists if and, on, if and only if for all the values of x belongs to R other than other than x square minus 8x plus 12 is equal to 0. For all the values except in the denominator x square minus 8x plus 12. Now, factorize this. So, that is x square minus 8x plus 12 can be written as you can factorize this as x square minus 2x minus 6x because 12 can be written as 6 2 is 12. So, the factors are 6 and 2. So, we can write minus 2x minus 6x plus 12 is equal to 0. You can take x common factor x minus 2 minus 6 common factor x minus 2 is equal to 0. The factors are x minus 2 into x minus 6 is equal to 0. Therefore, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 6. So, therefore, the domain of f is domain of the function f is equal to set of all real numbers except 2 comma 6. The domain of the function is set of all real numbers except at 2 comma 6, okay. So, here the domain of the function exists except at the values of x square minus 8x plus 2 all is equal to 0 except at the values of the factorize the denominator. A x square minus 8x plus 2 all can be as x square minus 2x minus 6x plus 2 all here x common factor x minus 2 minus 6 common factor x minus 2 the factors are x minus 2 into x minus 6. So, therefore, x is equal to 2 and x is equal to 6. So, that means the domain is nothing but the set of all real numbers except at 2 and 6 that can be written as the domain of function f is equal to r minus 2 comma 6 that is it ok. Hope you followed. Now, let us come to the next concept the very very important concept that is the algebra of real functions. 
the algebra of real function here addition subtraction multiplication and uh, division of two functions that we are going to study here so in this session we shall learn how to add two real function on subtract real function from one another multiplication of a real function by a scalar hence by mean of real numbers multiplying two real functions and dividing one real function by the another real function so multiplication addition subtraction multiplication scalar multiplication and the function multiplication and the division of the functions that we are going to study under a algebra of a real function so now addition of two real numbers let us come to the addition of two real numbers so let f from x to r and y g from x to r be two, two real valued functions then we can define function of f plus g that is addition from x to r by f plus g of x is equal to f of x plus g of x so this is called the addition so that is function of f plus g of x Fun f plus g of x is nothing but just add the first function f of x plus g of x this is called the addition of two functions similarly for a subtraction of two real functions let f from x to r and g from x to r be any two real functions where x is a subset of r then we define f minus g from x to r as f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x for all x belongs to x that is f minus so here f minus g of x is equal to f of x minus g of x so this is the subtraction so if it is positive just put plus sign f of x plus g of x if it is negative f of x minus g of x now for a multiplication by a scalar quantity let f from x to r be a real valued function and alpha be a scalar then here just to multiply this by a scalar quantity so the function from x to r is defined by f of a of f of x is equal to a constant multiply the function so here alpha into function of x alpha into function of x can be written as a into function of x for all x belongs to real number now similarly the multiplication of uh, two real function the product or multiplication of two real function from x to r and g to r is defined by f of g into f of g from x to r is defined by f of g into x is equal to f of g into g of x so that is here f of g function of g into x is equal to multiply it first function into second function that's it f of x into g of x similarly the quotient is nothing but f by so let f and g be the real function defined by x from r to x to r from x to r where x is a subset of r then the quotient of these two function is defined by f by g of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x provided the denominator is not equal to 0 so f plus r minus g of x is f of x plus or minus g of x if it is product f of g into x is f of x into g of x if it is a quotient f by g of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x provided g of x is not equal to zero. if it is multiplication multiply division divide addition add and subtraction subtract that's it very simple concept now let us come to your problem now what is the problem given this is important for uh, two or three marks so if let f of x is equal to x square and g of x is equal to 2x plus 1 be a real valued function find f plus g of x f minus g of x f of g into x f of g by x now let us come to the first one what is given f of x is equal to x square and g of x is equal to 2x plus 1 now one by one first one f of what is to determine f of g of x is nothing but f of x plus g of x so what is f of x x square what is g of x 2x plus 1 so f of g of x is equal to x square plus 2x plus 1 so if you want you can stop here or you can also write x plus 1 whole square this is of the forum a plus b whole square a square plus b square plus 2ab 2x into 1 is 2x okay second one what is the second one f minus g of x f minus g of x that is nothing but f of x minus g of x what is f of x x square minus g of x is 
2x plus 1. So this can be written as multiply by negative sign x square minus 2x minus 1. You cannot write anything for this. Now the third one. What is the third one? F of g into x multiplication. This is nothing but f of x into g of x. What is f of x? x square. What is g of x? 2x plus 1 multiplied. x square into 2x is 2x cube plus x square into 1 is x square. Now the last one f of uh, f by g of x f by g of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x. What is f of x? x square divided by g of x is equal to 2x plus 1. So these are the answers. That is it. Very simple. See n f of x is x square g of x is 2x plus 1. Find out f plus g of x is f of x plus g of x x square plus 2x plus 1. You can stop here itself or you can write x plus 1 whole square. F minus g of x is f of x minus g of x is x square minus 2x plus 1 is x square minus 2x minus 1. F of g into x is equal to f of x into g of x is x square into 2x plus 1 is 2x cube plus x square. F by g of x is f of x by g of x is x square divided by 2x plus 1. Okay. So this is very important and simple problem. Now let us come to a similar type problem. Second one. What is given? Given f of x is equal to root x. If you want you can write it as x to the power of 1 by 2 and g of x is equal to x with the two real valued function on the set of non-negative real numbers. Now what is to find first f plus g of x. f plus g of x is nothing but f of x plus g of x. What is f of x? Root x plus g of x is x. That is all root x plus x. Now the second one f minus g of x is nothing but f of x minus g of x. What is f of x? f of x is root x minus g of x is x. And the third one, what is the third one? f of f of g into x. So this is nothing but f of x into g of x. What is f of x? root x into g of x. What is g of x? x. So if you want you can write it as root x is x to the power of half into this is x to the power of 1. This is half plus 1 is 3 by 2 x to the power of 3 by 2. Now the last one f by g of x. So this is nothing but f of x divided by g of x. What is f of x? Root x divided by x. So this can be done as half divided by x. Again law of indices a raised to m by a raised to n is equal to a to the power of m minus n. If you want you can write x to the power of half minus 1. This is x to the power of minus of bring this to the denominator 1 by root x that is it ok. This is how we are going to find the values of the given function ok. See here f plus g of x is f of x plus g of x is root x plus x. f minus g of x is f of x minus g of x is root x minus x. Now f of g into x is f of x into g of x is root x into x is x to the power of 1 by 2 into x to the power of half is half plus 1 is 3 by 2. f by g of x is equal to f of x by g of x that is root x by x, root x is nothing but x to the power of half divided by x, that is law of indices, a raised to m by a raised to n is a raised to m minus n, half minus 1 is minus half, bring this to the denominator, 1 by root x, okay. Now let us come to the next problem, Not let f given by g from r to r defined by the respective function f of x is equal to x plus 1, g of x is equal to 2x minus 3, find f plus g, f minus g and f of g, the solution. What is given? Given f of x, f of x is equal to x plus 1 and g of x is equal to 2x minus 3. Now, what is to find? First, find f plus g, that is nothing but f plus g of x, that is nothing but f of x plus g of x. What is f of x? x plus 1 plus g of x is 2x minus 3. Simplify 2x plus 1 is 3x minus 3 plus 1 is minus 2. 3x minus 2 is the first answer. Now second one, what is the second? f minus g, that is nothing but f minus g of x, that is equal to f of x minus g of x. What is f of x? x plus 1 minus g of x is minus 3. Simplify this, multiply by negative sign, minus 2x minus into minus plus 3. 
So what you will get? So here you are going to get 3 plus 1 is 4 minus x. 3 plus 1 is 4 minus 2x plus x is x. So and the third one, f by g of x, f by g, that is nothing but f by g of x is equal to f of x divided by g of x. What is f of x? x plus 1 divided by g of x is 2x minus 3, provided this is not equal to 0. That's it. Hope you followed this. That's regarding the algebra of functions. So, hope you followed this. So, these are the problems. Here, x is not equal to 0 or we can also write x is not equal to 3 by, that's it. If you simplify 2x is equal to 3, x is equal to 3 by 2. So, x is not equal to 3 by 2, that's it, okay. So, these are the few problems based on a algebra of real valued functions, okay. So, that is all for today's session. Let us meet with a different concept in the next class. Thank you. Thank you very much.